take three. All right, we are at uh, calculus, looking at limits, and we are in the section of continuity and one-sided limits. And this problem is coming from this button. Don't forget where you are. We have got a piecewise function that's not written in your traditional manner with the curly brackets, but I'll write that up on the board here in just a second. We have the limit as x approaches 7 from the right of m of x. Okay, let's move over to there. This is where we need to be. This is it. And let me scroll up the screen here. We got, uh, first off, let's see what color we're in. We are in blue. Looks good. We got this function m of x, and of course this is the traditional thing you might see, curly brackets, and we have 2x plus 5, and its domain is we have x is greater than 7, and the second part is 8x plus 2, and its domain is x is less than or equal to 7. And we want to find the limit as x approaches. They call this limit a one-sided limit because it's coming in from one side. And that plus means it's coming in from the right-hand side. So that means that we're going to be looking at this guy right up here. And I'm just going to go ahead and write that in there. 2x plus 5. Let's scratch up a graph over here. All right. And we'll put a 7 right here. Now this says we're coming in from the right hand side. From that direction, right? We're plugging in numbers. We're getting really, really close to 7. And we're plugging them into here. And this is kind of like the numerical approach and seeing what it's getting closer and closer to. And that is a five, really bad five. Okay, so, <clears throat> um, what am I thinking here? Let's, let's see what this graph looks like. Uh, take seven, plug it in, you get 56, 57, 58. And it includes it, so we're going to say that uh, 58 is up here somewhere. Okay, and of course, uh, got a slope of 8, so we'll say that it's something like that. And then, right, uh, if we were to look at it here, of course, what is this approaching? Right, this is this is the question. Where do I put this mark at? Well, <clears throat> 14. And 5 is 19, right? 14, 5 is 19. So we'll put an open circle because it doesn't include it. And it's got a slope of 2, so we'll say something like that. All right? That's what this graph looks like. So in order to find this dot, right, we took some numbers kind of in our head. You could, you know, something like that right there, plug it in. Whatever. This is kind of like the numerical approach, remember, of finding what the limit is. <clears throat> now you're probably saying, hey, we could just plug 7 directly in and see what the heck this thing is. Why beat around the bush here? Well, technically, um, uh, you're not supposed to, but uh, we're, we're doing it anyway, right? Um, but just to give you an idea here, if we couldn't do that, we would do this right here get more of a numerical approach and uh, what did I say that was 14 19 14 and 5 is 19 yeah okay so we'll say that's what we did and we got 19 and of course I hit the answer and there it is. All right. So practice, practice. Remember, we're in this section right here. 